it's Nathalie and uh, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have uh, what what I'm going to show you today is I have a the shelf that I bought at a thrift store. It had an apple design in here and uh, there's a photo of it. It's already painted black. It already had the little hooks. This is going to be a little coffee rack. These hooks are probably a little close for coffee cups, but I'm going to leave them alone. But what I want to show you is on this, I painted this with chalkboard paint. Uh, not chalk paint, but chalkboard paint. And uh, I'm going to condition this, and I'm also going to use a Bistro chalk marker. Okay, and I've already kind of tested it. It said do a little test run first. So let me show you that before we get started. I have some paint that's off here. And uh, so I, did, I followed the instructions that are on the package and on the side. Got the chalk board marker paint coming up. Did me a couple of little diddle doddles to see if this was going to work. The main thing I wanted to do is the person I'm going to gift this to, which would be my sister, I wanted to make sure that she could remove, she could change the sayings on here if she wanted to. So with just a little damp paper towel or tissue, that'll wipe right off. So I know that that's going to work on this. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a piece of chalk and this is not a new technique. Y'all probably already know this. But I'm going to go ahead and condition this. And I think my fingernails are maybe scratching the surface a little bit. I don't want to use a wet napkin to wipe this off. But I want to... This will make it look a little bit more chalkboardy and not quite so shiny painted. Okay? Then I'll clean this area off over here. All right. This was what I wanted to show you. And that is how to transfer... A design maybe you're not real confident in your handwriting ability this is a little hard to work with because there's a shelf right here but this is what I want to show you I printed this off my printer is messed up and so that's the reason it's stripy it's not like some kind of fancy design it says fill my cup Lord and it's got a little coffee cup so <clears throat> I take the same piece of chalk and just go across the back of this and you may or may not know this, but this is just kind of a cheater thing if you want to, if you don't trust your handwriting or you want to just use a real cute little font. Uh, I'm just going to hold this in place. And I'm, this is the back end of a paintbrush. You could probably use a pencil, but I think the pencil would be too fine. All right, and let me show you. Let me go ahead and finish this word. So, fill. So now whenever I lift this up, this makes it kind of like carbon paper, then there is my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Let's see. Let's zoom in just a little bit. You can see. So it's transferred right there. So I'm going to do that with the rest of this. And I'm going I'm to speed this up, and then I'll come back and show you with the chalk marker. I've just laid this stick across here so that I can prop my hand to this. I don't want to like move a bunch of my chalk design here. So I've shaken this and it's ready to go. I think it's done. Thank you so much for watching. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a little thumbs up and be sure and subscribe. Hop over to My Hall Closet and check out my blog and I will see you next time. Bye. <music>